Hi. Welcome to uh, Emma's maternity leave, where Matt paints things that Emma has taught you guys how to paint. Also known as Matt Tries a Tutorial. Um, so today we're gonna be doing a lake landscape, something that I've never tried before that looks a little bit difficult and it terrifies me. So why don't we just take a look and see what we can get out of it and hopefully, hopefully I can follow Emma's instructions so that something actually looks somewhat decent. So let's get started. And here we go. Okay. So I have the tutorial pulled up here on the top right hand corner. Um, just to start with what Emma has, let's back this up just a tiny bit, not even close. So the, uh, the video that we are doing is called how to paint a lake landscape. So if I actually open this up a little bit, so let me just go shh. You can see right there, how to paint a lake landscape. Now that we have this taped down, Emma usually likes to zoom in a little bit. That's wide, I'm gonna have to zoom in. Well, that's too much, too much. All right, there we go. Okay, so now that we have this done, including Emma's beautiful brushes, we're going to start the tutorial. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. Exactly. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to wet my big oval mop brush. You can just wet up your biggest brush that you have. I'm okay. going to take just a light wash of some... Wait. Oh. I wasn't paying attention. What are we doing? What are we getting? What color? That one. Ow. Cobalt, right? I'm going to take... Yeah. Okay. So that, I think that's this one. I think. And let's press play again. Just a light wash of some cobalt blue and I'm just going to start oh, with that was a lot. sky and we're going to do a light wash because we're going to oh. have some trees in the background and I don't want the blue to totally blend with the trees so there's our light wash for that and then I'm just going to grab more cobalt blue and I'm just going to make it a little bit brighter at the top maybe even a little oh. bit of cerulean blue I kind of accidentally made that work sky. what's cerulean blue I'm trying to follow and paint it to which cerulean I is that cerulean blue? What? I, I'm just gonna go with this. Okay, I need to go back. Hit. Cerulean blue. That's the that's not cerulean blue. I don't have cerulean blue in this one. That's more of like a aqua marine. Is that right? We're just aqua marine. No, okay, let's continue. Light blue sky. Got it. Beautiful light blue sky. Okay, maybe a bit more. Uh, just washing off my brush, drying it, and just blending it down. And then I'm gonna take my size 12 brush, wash it with just clean okay. water. Size 12? Some clean water. 12? To make some sort of cloud formations. And what the water does is it pushes the, the paint away so you get kind of like a little white area. So just dropping some of that clean water make some clouds. Hmm. That's just a little trick to do. Clouds. Okay. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay. And then we're going to have some Interesting. trees in the background. Um, and then we're going to have kind of trees on, I think, okay. a little island here. And then the water here. Wait, we're so doing an island? Trees in the far background. Okay. So I think I want them kind of blurry or faded. So I'm going to do this while this is wet. Okay. I'm actually going to take my smaller brush, my size six brush, just size six. pick up too much Boom. color. I'm going to do like a green. And, um, water so it doesn't bleed too much, but I'm just going to do some faded trees in the background just by huh? doing some Wrong green. horizontal lines and then some vertical lines and let it That's okay. bleed. Okay. Don't think I got enough water there. Oh. Why are you so fast? You don't really have to do too many tree like shapes. It's just kind of a blurry tree. How? So starting off with the lightest green I have, just using some sap green. 
then. I'm so lost. Hold on, I need to... However you want to do this. There we go. Really just play around. Alright. Sounds good. I'm just gonna play around. Just play around with some trees. Just do some, just do some trees, and then wider. It's, I keep on forgetting that trees are wider at the bottom. Okay. Um, Reflecting on the tops of these trees. I'm what? Like. Um. Okay. I'm gonna add some more trees, and I need to focus here. I need to focus in. Because that looks nothing like what I've just done, but I'm gonna try. Okay, that one's not bad. I don't mind that tree. Is my head in the way? No. Okay. Is my head in the way? No, I can't remember. Okay, we're, yeah, we're good. Alright. So last time I did this, I had my hat in the shot pretty much the entire time, which is quite annoying. I'm I'm not not doing very good at this one. I mean, that's not a bad tree. That's not a bad tree. I need a little bit more. Need a little bit more. That was a lot more pain. Okay. Uh, oh, let's see. That's a lot more pain. Okay. Let's add a bit more color to that one. A bit more to that, a bit more to that. And we're gonna thin that, or not thin it up, but we're gonna. That's the best one yet. Alright, so let's maybe add a bit of color to this. And then to this one. There. There's my trees. They look nothing like Emma's. It's not even close. Oh, but she just. Okay, I see what she did here. She like made it blurry. Kind of, so like there's a whole bunch of, that's like, if you look at, you can't really see this, but on like the right hand side, they actually look like there's branches and leaves. I don't know how she does this. I don't get it. All right, let's continue. It's a little bit darker. And it doesn't really have to look like trees because remember they're faded. Oh. Of, not faded. Blurred I'm background. In the background. We'll do there you go. Focus ones in the so I'm gonna try my brush off because I have no I idea if I'm gonna I need this. Darker greens. I have this pearlene green. Oh wait, hold on. What? Okay, I need to get a dark green. I think that's that. Let's let's give this one a shot. Let's see what dark green this looks like. What's she doing? I'm just doing vertical lines and then horizontal. Oh, fun. Stuff that I'm not going to be good at. Oh, that's way too much water. Okay. Um, hmm. Should I dry this? I'm going to dry it. Okay. Sorry. One second. I'm just going to dry this quickly. Wanted to dry it a little bit so I can get everything's fine. Um, because so I wanted to get these vertical lines in there a little bit. Why is this spreading so much? I should be using a different brush. I should be using the two, I think, for that part. Although Emma is still using her six, so. I don't know. Purple. How's she doing that? Okay. And you're Why? Wet, How? Oh. Be nice and kind of <laughs> Oops. Okay. Um, well, I thought it was a good idea. You're doing all of this on a wet background, okay? Yeah. Not so much. Okay, I'm going to leave that as is. That's fun. I kind of messed that part up. Let's go to the next part. I'm going to do some um, a darker island in the front. Okay. 
So we're gonna do a darker island in the front. Uh, Actually, what are we doing here? What I'm gonna do is just grab some darker green here. Okay. Just go across. Darker green and go across. Come on. There's literally okay, so no water on that. Now I'm going to take my mop brush and I'm going to wet up the bottom here where the lake is going to be. Okay. And I'm going to just meet it with that kind of mop brush shoreline for where those trees are so you can get a nice kind of lead. Okay. I'm actually going to dry out the center of it where I want this little island to be. Okay. Dry out the center. Okay. And then I'm going to take some turquoise. Wait, wait, we got to dry out the center. Dry out the center. Dry out the center like this. Okay. Oh, I can see it. That works. All right, sweet. So, brushes are back to where we got them from. The blue, I wanted a different color. I'm going to go for like a darker blue. And it'll be darker because you want it to be like watery, I'm guessing. Sky. And I'm just going to add that in there. Kind of trying to avoid that middle part. Again, where is the, where did I dry it? Closer to the foreground. You can even add a little bit of green in there too. Oh. Trying to avoid where I put that. Yeah. Boom. I don't know if that was me or if that was then, on this video. I'm going to I apologize if that was me. Okay, what? Okay. Then I'm gonna take my clean size six, dip it in the water, and I'm just going to okay. again just add some more. And it almost kind of looks like waves. Again, it's pushing. Okay, I need to make this darker. So we need a bit more, a bit more paint. There you go, okay. So this needs to be a bit darker, I think. So I know like pigment, let's make it a bit darker because we want there to be like some sort of like waves forming here. Look half bad. Okay. So we've done that. I'm gonna clean off this. And then we're gonna take the six. Make sure it's clean. I mean, okay, yeah, it should be fine. Should I add a bit of green into there? Nah, we'll just go like this. So like I'm gonna do it's just a wet brush. And I'm just adding lines in here so it's like cresting waves adding some movement to the water just adding a bit of movement okay gosh her stuff is so good that paint so it Just a little bit of movement. Add a bit more darker color if you want. Oh. Like that, just kind of going back and forth. Let's add a little bit of a darker color, or a bit more pigment. Gentle. Huh. Okay. That is very pretty. Why are you so talented? Yeah, Why? Sorry. Just clean water. Okay. Just thin it out a little yeah. bit. Boom, boom. Okay. Okay. And then I'm going to wait for it to completely dry and we'll do this little island. Okay. Piece. So now we're going to dry. Okay, so now that it's... This is 
it dry? Yeah, it's dry enough. Okay. Right, we can start doing the island. Um, okay. okay, so I'm going to start off with some trees in the middle here. I'm just grabbing my sap green. And I, I'm going to just okay. a little light. And I'm going to do some trees here. Some nice. All right, so I'm going to take the six again. And I'm going to go with, like, I think this is sap. Probably not. Uh, it's actually really light. Uh, I'm going to make... There. Maybe mix those two together. Hmm. Maybe, actually, I can add a bit more of, like, a darker pigment. Like this. That's too much water. I'm making my own colors. All right, so dry it off. I'm gonna grab some of that pigment that I just made, and then we're gonna go like right down the middle. Trees with my size six brush. Okay. Starting with a vertical. I need. Line. I need a lot more. How oh, is she so fine with like her? And then just doing some like the point. Little branches that are poking, kind of going upwards, and then they're slowly gonna start pointing down. Okay. Like that. Okay. And then, like around here, we're gonna have them slowly start to point downwards, just like Emma said. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Make it. Does that look like a tree, guys? Does that, does that kind of look like a tree? I'm thinking it does. I may need a bit more. Like, I think that looks like a tree. And I probably should have. The island should probably be up <laughs> a bit more. Um, so, this is going to be like a, a monstrous tree. It's going to be an island with a single gigantic tree on it. That's what this is going to be. There we go. Giant, giant evergreen tree. I actually think I want to make it a bit more rusty looking, so I'm just going to grab some brown and add it to my green. Like that. Okay, I'm going to add a bit of brown. Brown to the green? Okay. So... I'll grab this and we'll add that in there. Uh, that's not what I wanted to do, I'm sorry. We'll add that in. I just messed up Emma's palette. Oops. There. And we're just gonna. That's stunning. Keep doing some more brush strokes. How? Oh, I hear no in this video. Grab a bit of yellow. When was this? August 8th, 2020. Oh, there's the dog. That's that's in the old house right before we moved. Let's get it's focus, Matt. Second tree. Let's go. Focus. All right. Let's see if I can make this second tree a bit better than the first. So, let's put the second one like right here. Okay. And then she does like such great fine. And was my head like right in the way? No, I think we're okay. So Emma does such great fine work with. Maybe it's because like I've maybe too much water, or it's like a super gentle touch that I just don't have. I mean, that's equally possible. And the way to make these look a bit more realistic is that little, those little branches pointing kind of towards the top first. Oh. And then... Well, this one's not going to be that realistic. That's fine. I mean, I could 
probably just go up like that. And then hope that it sort of just works out the way that I want it to. The problem that I'm having is that I'm too heavy on this. Like, my depth perception has never actually been very good, so... Like, I can tell when I'm touching the paper, but I can't. Does that make sense? This is a lot more challenging than I thought. Uh, we will add some darker bits in there too. You can add like a fire, right. right? If you don't have that, hooker's green works well. You can add with a bit of or mix it with a bit of purple. A bit of purple? I'm actually just going to oh. make it a little bit darker on hmm. the side. Maybe like the sun is kind of coming this way. I'm going to grab some of that brown, add that in there, darken it up a bit. that on this side, here. then I'll get that on that side, cool, oh she's doing more, and we will sharpen up that background a bit too. oh okay, and I'm out of pigment, let's get a bit more paint, brush is too wet, always start off with a lighter color, <sighs> and then work your way darker with watercolor, oh, I keep on forgetting that. I'm just gonna put light color over top of dark color because it's a transparent medium. There, just there's the second tree. That. That's the third tree. And jeez. Okay. Just dab and dab and dab and dab and dab. All right. So we're. Thin brush. Uh, then I'm gonna take my okay. green. Green and brown. So like I, I look at this up here and I'm like, this is really good. I mean this is it's okay, but this is like this is just stunning. Stunning. Let's continue. Create the ground. Okay, so we're gonna create the ground with like wash off my brush. Okay, we're gonna create the ground with like a dark, 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 dark. Okay. So I'm gonna Get a lot of pigment on this. And then literally just throw that down there. Like that grass. That may have been way too much pigment, but I'm so heavy on the brush. I gotta work on that. Kind of blend it out a bit. Oh. Okay, so let's clean it off and then blend it out. Let's... Okay. Hmm. Then, I'm gonna blend it into the ground, or the ground, the water. So I'm gonna wet up the whole water again, and if you noticed, while it dried, it got a little bit lighter too. Okay. So make sure you have clean water, and you can just gently touch that so. island a bit so it bleeds into the water. I'm gonna grab some of my turquoise again, make it a bit darker. Put a green with it. Ooh, okay. 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 Hold on, let's get a little bit more of that blue. Like that. Ooh. Grab a little bit of just water. Ooh, okay, I, I like this. Way too much, smaller, but that's okay. The and then they can be a little bit further apart and longer, closer to the front. Uh, I think I'm even going to take some I don't hate this. I'm going to do some reflections in the water. So just kind of More water. mirroring or, yeah. what you see there. Just very rough little kind of lines coming down. Okay. Horizontal line. Oh, okay. It doesn't have to be too... Too crazy. Remember, this is not realistic. I'm just kind of giving some cottagey lake vibes. Some cottagey lake vibes. I'm down. A 
What? Oh my goodness. And then, I'm just gonna want this water up here a little bit higher. And they're a bit more, like darker. Just a... So it really looks like this island is kind of in the foreground. <sighs> oh my yeah. goodness. And then you can start doing okay. a bit more detail on the back trees here too if you want. So, lines. Holy. Horizontal, or sorry, vertical lines. Okay, let's add a bit more detail. Kind of sharpen up those trees a bit and have it bleed into the water a little bit more. So let me get so like a lot of this really rough pigment in there. Don't worry too much about the shapes. And... <sighs> am I using the right brush? I am, but like There's I just... <sighs> Kind of wow! Line, so it a okay, bit. I need. I'm taking out the I'm two. Really just kind of dabbing. I'm not making anything too too realistic. Just kind of. I'll sharpen up these trees a bit more in the foreground, but these ones in the back, I'm not too worried about. I don't know how she does this. It's like that's that's beautiful. I'm too heavy on this brush. I, like, I don't know how to be so gentle. Man, I like, wish I had a cottage. I, I wish I had it's your soft touch. <laughs> if you ask Emma, this is this is accurate. I had manhands. I had a little jealous. Man man hands. I don't have a cottage. You have a cottage. You want to be my friend. That's cool, too. <laughs> I'll accept. I mean, we can always buy one, Em. Hopefully. One day. Hopefully. One day. Uh, how? I'm trying to like be so gentle Always. with this, but like I, I can't. They really just messy little lines, a little bit of yellow. Yeah, I'm trying to be as like gentle as possible to do this, but it's just not working the way that I want it to. I mean, that that looks better. Am I just using the wrong brush? So rough. So rough. I'm gonna take a little bit of water and just blend it okay. out. How? This yeah. is this is not bad for color. for an attempt. <laughs> for an attempt. Um, I'm hoping that I'm gonna continue to get better, out. but like that's probably way too much pigment. We'll see. Yeah. I can speak. I promise. <laughs> Not the best today. Okay. Okie dokie. Okay. So there we go. Now I'm just going to take some more. Wow. To sharpen up some branches on these trees in the front. Okay, I'm going to get a bit more paint or more. A little bit more. Blah, 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 blah. I can't talk either. Um, I'm going to get rid of a lot of the pigment that's on this brush. Just doing some little flicks. So that. I can then blend. Okay. Well, that's way too much water. All right, well. And try not to make it like symmetrical or too perfect looking, because then it starts to look a bit less realistic. I mean, I'll say it's abstract. Uh, I, I hope you guys are enjoying this and sort of like playing along with me a little bit because I, I'm pretty sure I used the wrong brushes for a lot of this. Um, but I'm calling it like the, I, I look at, I look at what Emma is doing here and like the detail is like, astonishing. How much more detail work is she doing? Dude. Oh my goodness. Darken up the ripples. Okay. So let's, let's try to, I don't know how I'm going to do this, but okay. So boom. And then like, just do like little squigglies. Like just little squiggly lines. For like that, I need to listen. Okay, and then for these clouds, I'm just gonna add a little bit of gray, okay. just to divine them a bit. So I'm watering my Payne's gray down. I don't know where Payne's gray is. Underneath, even lighter than that. Where's the, I, they? These all look the same to me. 
I'm just gonna watch and appreciate. I'm calling this. This is this is this is the done product for me right now. Um, mostly just because I don't think that I can do any better than this right now. Um, and I I also have no I, I can't like is this is this paints is this paints gray? Like that's not bad. I mean I, I've I've done worse. Like is that paints gray? Is this paints gray? I I don't know. I don't know. It's like. I'm not good when it comes to colors. Um, like you can tell me like, hey Matt, this is this is a, a, a gray, but I'm like, this looks black. That looks like black. I know this is like a dark blue or like a purple, but it looks, it looks black. That's a blue. Like here, let me show you. Let me show you. Like this to me looks like a blue. That's also technically probably a blue, but it looks like it's black. That looks black, that looks black. When you say let's grab blue, I'm like, here, let's grab one of these two. And then my brain automatically goes to these are all black and then brown, brownish red, copper, e. But yeah, uh, so here is my 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 tree in comparison to uh, to Emma's tree. This is mine. This is Emma's. Mine, <laughs> Emma's. Now think something that I could. You know what? While while I have this and it's a bit larger, one thing I am noticing is that like down here. That's like more full. So let's blend that out a little bit. Like that. And then I'm probably gonna have to like clean the brush a lot. I'm gonna assume that that is gray. I'm gonna make the assumption that that is gray. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this and then like this. Just, <gasps> I was right. I was right. There's a bit of gray in there. Okay. So, just little touches of the gray. This one. Way too much. I can, I can blend that. I can blend that out. I can fix that. I can fix that. I probably just ruined it, but that's okay. I can fix it. Yeah, okay. Uh, I just ruined it. <sighs> now I, can, I can fix this, maybe. Take the mop. Mop it up. Oh, like the mop brush is meant for. Can I fix it? Can I fix it? The answer is kind of. Like, these are probably like some dark dark clouds maybe maybe I can fix it let's try to fix it I did an oopsie I think that's what the technical term is I think it's it's called an oopsie and this is right on the way good job Matt okay so now you guys can see this a little bit better so Emma's here's Emma's right here the one that I was just doing and then this is obviously mine you can tell the difference I'm sure um, so here we go. I'm just gonna blend that out a little bit. The clouds are kind of like weirdish. That's, that's fine. Um, this is more like at, I'm going to stop trying to justify it. It's, it is what it is. It is what it is. So let's listen to the rest of what Emma's talking about. God, that's beautiful. Okay. Adding water, blending it out a bit more. Okay. Maybe I should add. Uh, no. Don't touch it. And I feel like my trees are a little too dark, to be honest. Okay. So how do you fix that? So what I think I might do. Yes. Is grab some white ink. So I have some white ink here. Oh. Um, Dr. Peach Martin Flea Poop White. Don't have that. If you have a white gel pen that would work, white wash, whatever. Just taking a little bit. Don't have I'm that. I'm just going to do some light. Oh, that detail. Wow. Yeah, see, hers, her branches are a lot darker than mine are. Because mine's like completely washed out, but that looks Nothing beautiful. Clean. Just a little bit. Just touch it with a little Maybe bit of white. Okay. To, you can Ooh. Add some Ooh. white streaks in the water. Should, uh, 
That's fine. Listen, this is for like a, a first attempt. Yeah. Okay. All right. For a first attempt, not horrible. Not horrible. I've I've done worse, but uh, I think that we're gonna call it like now for for today because well this is probably the best that I'm gonna be able to do right now. But here's the reason why we're doing this. I actually don't hate this. I think that it's not not horrible. It's not great. It's not horrible. But it's a starting place. And as Emma continues to take care of our newborn, I'm going to continue to try to learn and get better and show you guys that this is my starting place. You've seen me on lives. If you've seen it on lives before, this is where I'm starting. And hopefully from here, it's just going to continue to get better. And maybe I'll continue to find more of a passion for this like Emma does. Um, so thank you very much for supporting her. Most importantly, thank you very much for supporting our family. Uh, for being a part of this journey and hopefully this will continue to get better and as always thank you very much we'll see you in the next video and i'm going to be trying another one of these plus we got a couple of things coming soon cool thank you very much guys see you later thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you learned something don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on instagram for even more have a great day guys bye